guys, welcome back to my first video of 2020. And it's your girl, Z. So today I'm coming at you with this really pretty um, purple smoky cut crease. And yeah, I was inspired by my hair. I changed my hair up a little bit and well, a lot of it, it used to be long and black. Now it's short and purple. And I wanted to do a look that kind of mimics the color of my hair and like with the pink and purple type of moment and just wanted to be extra like, you know, like my hair. So yeah, I did that. This is what it's looking like. Um, there's really not much else to say. So you'll just see me getting ready. And this is um, not a voiceover. This is me actually, well, the video is going to have me talking in it. So I'll be talking the whole time because I was told that I should probably talk more in my video so I'm doing that this time and then um this needs to go all the way behind my ear because the clip is not enough. See if I can put the clip like there. That's a little better. Okay so to get started with my makeup I'm gonna start with my brows and I'm just gonna kind of speed through this part. I'm not gonna sit here and do them like step by step on camera. So you'll see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna speed through it though. Okay, so I have like the initial shape down. Now I'm gonna just fill them in with a little bit of um, eyeshadow and get them defined. You know what, actually, instead of, <coughs> <coughs> okay, instead of um, filling them in with eyeshadow, I actually went through all of my makeup and organized and cleaned everything out and I actually found something that I decided not to throw away but I never used because I do want to start using it and it's like this, um, this like, I don't know. It's like an ink, I guess, for your brows and you just dip your brush in there like this and like product comes out. But I'm gonna dip it in the darker side and kind of define the outside of my brows. I don't, I don't know why I don't use it. I mean, it works awesome. I think I just, it's easier to grab, um, it's just easier to grab like a brown eyeshadow, but this actually stays pretty well. And it looks a little bit more natural. I'm gonna use the dark side for the tail end of my brow. And sorry if you hear that noise, it's, it's um, my heater because it's pretty cold in here. And it's gonna turn back on in a second to the noise again. Once I did that, I'm not going to clean my brush off or anything. I'm going to just dip right back into the light side because no big deal. Like, my brows are pretty dark anyway, so I'm going to just do the front and kind of blend it in with the outer side, the outer tail, I'm sorry. Once that's all done, I go in with um, my... Um, brush like this, it doesn't have a number or anything, but it's by Morphe, it's just like a regular concealer brush. And I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape as always, and I'm going to outline the bottom of my line, of, of my brows with this shade in Pan Deep Sand. So I like to put it on there like this, and just um, clean them up with the concealer brush. Once I have my brow shaped up like I want it, I'm gonna just bring the rest of that concealer down to my lid because I'm using this concealer also as a um, primer for the eyeshadow that I'm gonna be doing. Now, I don't know, I know I'm gonna do a purple look since I have my new purple hair, but I don't really know what palette I'm gonna use, so let me just go through my drawer palettes and see what I have and see what I'm gonna use. I could use my Juvia's Place palette, and I can probably just use these two, maybe this and this pink, but I don't know, that's, that's amazing. You know what I wanna do? Dark purple, like a light pink, lavender, and another dark purple, so let me 
DVD Alyssa Edwards palette. Because I can mix the white and this color to make lavender. I might have to use a couple because I like these pinks. So I think I'm only going to use two palettes. So I'm not trying to do too much. I see a lot of people using this though. But it doesn't have a matte purple, so we're not going to do that. And then let me see. Let me see another one for a few other palettes to make sure. I'm the most indecisive person you'll meet. Okay, this is a cute lavender, maybe. But is that blue or purple? I like this purple. Blue, not purple. Okay, okay. I made my final decision. I'm gonna use my ABH palette um, since I only used it like once or twice and I wanna use it some more. And then I'm also gonna use my nude palette by Huda and this is the medium one. Yeah, this is the medium nude palette. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that. Um, to start off the look, I'm gonna go ahead and blend a deep purple in my crease and go from there. But I need to blend out this um, because it creased a little bit. So the deep purple I'm gonna start off with is B2. I'm gonna go ahead and just stick my brush in there. A nice big fluffy brush. And start on my crease. It looks kind of blue, but I'm pretty sure it's purple. It looks purple in the pan. Why is it blue on me? So I'm gonna just tap it in my crease first to get the color built up really nicely. And then I'm gonna start to blend the edge just a little bit so that I can prep it for the um, light paint that I'm gonna put above that. I have been looking at some of my work, you know, my makeup looks and stuff. And I noticed that I'm like kind of afraid to really cut the crease like a lot. like. I'm always worried that it's gonna be way too high up towards my brow bone, but when you're doing a cut crease, it is supposed to be high like that. Like, that's what makes it a true cut crease. I'm just gonna basically bring this up a lot higher than I normally would, is what I'm trying to say, so that it's more of a cut crease. So once I have this, I'm gonna start to swirl just a little bit. to start the blending and I'm gonna drag this outward because I want it to kind of flare out like a cat shape. And you can see that I'm holding my brush like way down here so I can get a nice soft transition to that edge. And you don't want it to be harsh at all. Just like that. So now I have plenty of space to like when I you see like when I open my eye, I have plenty of space to like cut the crease way up here if I want to, or I can kind of just leave this part. I mean I have so many options when it comes to that, so yeah. This is what I have so far. So now I'm gonna take another clean brush and I'm gonna get a pink shade, like a mauve pink shade, and I'm going to blend the top of the crease. I'm gonna use this shade from my um Palette. Okay, so if you notice the angle is a little different, that's because I had to move the camera to grab my translucent powder because was, the camera was in my way. But all I did was just pat the translucent powder in this area, basically like over my brows and in the space that's still left um, over. But I did that so that it helps blend the color, the, the pink shade, a little bit nicer towards the brow bone. Um, a little bit softer and, you know, just not so harsh. And like before, I would be so like against this, but it actually does not look bad. And I still have a little bit of space to add like some highlight on top if I really wanted to. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this side. And then you can see that sometimes you lose some of the color, like this is way brighter than this one. But we're gonna go back in with the purple and go over that. But we just wanna make sure that it's blended before we do anything else. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the other brush that I had before with the purple. I'm gonna dip back into that B2, my um, ABH palette, and I'm gonna just um, first stamp it like I did before, and then I'll blend it out again. Okay, so this is what I have with these two brushes so far. So now at this point, I can go ahead and cut the crease how I want to. So I'm just gonna find a flat brush 
and usually I like to use my um, Morphe M167 brush. Couldn't give it up. My M167, it's a little dirty, but that's okay because I have leftover um, product on it, which helps it actually stay nice and flat and stiff. So I'm gonna leave that like that. And then I'm gonna take my Anastasia um, Beverly Hills eye primer and I'm gonna put that on the back of my hand like this. Um, this is just to help cut the crease and to have a base for the color that we're going to lie on top of the cut crease. So I'm just taking my brush, both sides, I'm coating both sides, making sure the brush is nice and stiff and flat. And then I'm going to take my time to cut this crease. Um, I think I'm going to speed through this part because I might go a little bit slow in the beginning and then, you know, um, speed it up, but uh, this part, it just takes too long to even try to keep it in the video. just the same and then I'll be back now that I have this going on I'm gonna go ahead and take my lid shade and it's gonna be this really pretty um, purple lavender color that has a little bit of gold in it I'm gonna take this color which is a4 all over the lid well, this is with like no spray or anything leave the lash line a little bit open because I do plan on putting like a deep purple there like a deep purple liner kind of moment and I'm going to bring that lavender all the way out to the end though so now that I have all of this um, I'm going to get um, I guess I'll choose like this angled brush and I'm going to line the bottom with a nice deep dark purple and I'm going to smoke it out but I'm going to, I think I'm going to use the um, Alyssa Edwards palette for the purple like I originally wanted to do. I'm going to use this purple because it's so pretty. See how much brighter that is? How much more bright that is? take a really teeny tiny brush I'm gonna take this one and it doesn't have anything on it it's just stained blue um, I'm gonna take that B2 which is what is the color that's right here and I'm gonna just blend it with that just so it has like a little hint of the cool tone with the warm tone literally just what I envisioned. I just did a whole wing liner with just eyeshadow. Why did, why did this side come out so much more perfect than this side though? I'm like, okay. The funny thing is, this brow is better, I feel like it's better than this brow. I feel like my right side is just better, I don't know why. So I love, now I gotta get this to match, because why is this side like, maybe it's just me. Okay, so I think for now this pretty much completes the eye look. I will come back to it obviously, but I'm gonna start working on my face. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and wet my beauty blender and also clean up this line here so I can get started on the rest of the face. Clean up the edge, I'm just gonna take a regular makeup wipe and clean my face off. First and foremost, get all that eyeshadow off of my face that fell out onto my cheeks. I'll wipe my lips because they're, they're dry. And then first you want to make sure like none of this is here because you'll see it when you do your makeup, if you do foundation stuff, it'll be poking out and it won't look good. So you want to make sure that's kind of cleaned up. And then take the point of your finger and 
on your edge and make sure this is like this is not left like this because that's that's going to show but all these beautiful works you don't want it to look fresh yet. Where this one has like a little bit more of a flip, it's driving me insane. Like, okay, point. Yeah, I know I'm not crazy. Go a little and flick it out a little bit. That's why it was looking a little better. That's a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and prime my face. So I'm going to use my Claudier, um, I don't know what it's called, Skin Perfecting Mattifying Fluid. It's just a primer and it works for me because I have oily skin. Smells really good. Extra oil. Okay, so I have that on. I'm gonna use some pore filling. Um, you know what, I use this all the time, my chart list, but I actually recently picked this up and I wanna try it. Um, so I'm just gonna use something to fill in my pores. So this is gonna fill in all those spots in your face um, that are not making look the smoothest. And then right here, my smile lines too. A little bit on my forehead, not too much. Mostly focused it in here because I have a lot of pores. And I have my smile lines. Now I'm gonna go in with foundation. I think I'm gonna go in with my Morphe foundation just because it's full coverage. I have a like crazy look going on, so I'm gonna use a full coverage foundation. Oh, it's so cute. My my um, Beauty Blender's purple. My eyeshadow's purple. You know what? And uh, while I'm sitting here, really just taking my freaking sweet time. With this Morphe foundation, you don't want to do that because it dries fast as hell. With my foundation, I'm gonna take some foundation, the same um, foundation I have on my face, obviously. And I'm just gonna get that angle brush that I had from before that I cleaned up the bottom of the brow and cleaned the top. I'm gonna brush the hairs downward when doing this because I don't wanna get any foundation on the hair. So now let's work on the um, concealer. I'm gonna go ahead and apply this um, skin tone concealer on the edge. Right here. This is my first time using it. It's by Milk and it's in the color, mm, oh, it's right here, cinnamon. So it's really close to my skin tone. I'm just using that on the outside and then I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape for the inside to highlight and to brighten all that good stuff. I don't use that much concealer because you don't need a whole bunch of concealer. But I do bring it on the sides of my nose and just right in the inner corner and in the middle. Um, I put a line down the bridge of my nose, a little bit right there, a little bit right here, and a little bit on the forehead as well. I'm just taking my time blending the lighter concealer first. And then I'll go into blending out the outside. Okay, so this looks nice what we have here, but I'm gonna go ahead and take my Lancome um, Camouflage Concealer and use that to brighten just a little bit more. A little bit of this goes a long way. So I try to be careful with how much I put on. Trust me, like those dots are enough. I'm gonna really concentrate it on the very inner corner of my eyes. 
and a little bit on the side of my nose again because I want it to be really bright right there. This helps draw attention to the center of your face. So that's what I'm looking like right now. Looks good. So now I'm going to take my under eye powder brush, uh, my Ruby Kiss powder for under my eyes, and it's just called the um, Set and Forget. I'm gonna use that in the color, what's it called? Earth. And it's like this yellow toned um, shade. What I like to do is I like to just press it in there and not bake at all. Just press it in there and that's it. So now I'm going to take my Huda Beauty powder um, for all over my face and this is the cinnamon bun shape. And I'm gonna take my foundation, my powder foundation brush and all my gold brushes are by Morphe. And I'm just gonna dust it all over. So now I'm gonna go ahead and work on bronzer, um, which is just gonna help bring dimension back into my face. I'm going to take this beautiful brush right here by It's Cosmetics. And it's called the, it's a blush brush. It's called KER50W. But I use it for my, you know, my bronzer since it has like a nice angle to it. I'm gonna use this palette. Um, it's by Sephora Collection and it's the Spice Market um, blush palette. So I'm just gonna take this color and use that to bronze. This brush is amazing. I love it because it blends instantly. Like that's pretty much already blended. I don't wanna do too much by the baby hair the big baby hairs. Whatever's left over, I take that um, brush to the side and I just go on the side of my nose, kind of define my nose a little bit. I do that and then I follow over that with my face brush. Make sure it's nice and blended. Just on the cheeks. A little bit on the nose, guess I lied. <laughs> And then I forgot to do the bottom of my chin too. I don't take any extra powder for the bottom of my chin. I just, whatever's left over, I do the bottom of my chin. And then going back into the brush I use for under my eye, I'm going to take some of my face powder. I'm just gonna clean it up. Make that nice and sharp and then blend right here so it's not too close to my mouth area. So once I have all that, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of touch of blush. So I'm gonna take Coppering from MAC blush and I'm gonna put a little bit, a little bit. I'm gonna to top it off with, um, this is something else that I found, not this one. This is something else that I found in my, um, my stuff that I didn't see because it was buried under everything and I have everything just everywhere. Not anymore because I cleaned it. But um, this is Sweet as Cocoa by MAC as well. It's a really pretty brown shade. I think I'm gonna kind of pop it in between here. To just do something, I don't know. I like that, it looks cute. Kinda wanna put a little bit like on the tip of my nose. Sides of my nose. I like that, I gave a little, little cocoa moment. Next, I'm gonna highlight, so it's always a struggle. I don't know what, I usually just go for the same highlighter if I really just don't know what to use, but because I have a lot of highlight. Here's what it is. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Let's see. No, no, we're not doing that today. It's called Crown of My Can Canopy. Crown of my canopy. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with this um, Farsali um, water shit, okay? <laughs> then I'm gonna go over all that with my beauty blender. Press all that into the skin. This helps your makeup look super natural, super skin-like. Ooh, just look how 
Nice, yes, that's what we want. While our face is still a little wet, I'm just gonna tap into my highlight and tap it on. If this were dry, I would probably swirl it around. But since my skin is a little damp still, I'm gonna just tap it and kind of sweep it on. Once your face starts to dry a little bit, then you can start doing this. Um, you don't want to swirl it when it's wet because then everything will start moving around. Yes, that looks gorgeous. Look how glowy the skin looks after we sprayed it down. You, that's like a must have. You have to spray your face when you're doing your makeup. Don't just put a bunch of powder on your face and just leave it dry like that. So my skin is looking very alive and nice and blended and everything. Nice and highlighted. A little bit extra highlight. Ooh, Ooh that took it up. Ooh, an extra little notch. Okay, I dipped a little bit into this um, gold and this gold from Oprah just because I wanted just a little bit more and it gave me a lot of it more. Then I'm gonna take a, a little brush that I like to use to Put, apply my highlight in small areas and I'm gonna take that that not so crazy highlight and put that down the bridge of my nose and just focus a little bit more on the tip too I'm gonna use I'm gonna go into my Fenty Beauty um, highlighter palette and I'm gonna take this color in the middle it's like a cool tone brown green blue I probably could use this purple which would be fun should I do that I'm gonna use this on the, hmm. Okay, use this on the inner corner and this on the brow bone. And make sure I get all that gold off of here first. So, yep, made a good decision. I'm the most indecisive person. And then when I make bad decisions, I'd like just fuck my whole life. When I make a good decision, I'll be so proud. Oh yeah, that's so pretty. Ah! Oh my God, that's so pretty. And then I'm going to wipe that off and I'm gonna get to this purple and I'm gonna put it on my brow bone. <clears throat> just the very tippy top. And I'm going to spread it. You still want to be able to see that pink that we blended on there earlier. So don't go overboard with it. You could probably touch a little bit with that brush, but she good. So now that we have this all going on, I'm going to go ahead and just finish under my eyes. And then um, I'll come back at you when I'm getting ready to do my lip. Cute. Looking like I'm from the 90s. This was my NYX Extreme Lip Cream and the color, I don't even know because it, oh, it's called Tin Natural. That's what that is. And then I'm going to apply this Mulani um, lip gloss in the shade Prismatic Touch. Ooh. Okay, don't like the smell. Ooh, ooh, hmm, not bad. I don't like the smell though. It smells like cheap, I don't know, something I don't want on my lips. I have this Dior lip gloss, lipstick, I'm sorry, and it kind of gives me like that like metallic-y kind of a look, so. Add a little bit of that. I did a little something. Mm, I thought I was going to keep that Milani. I think I'm going to throw that away because I can't. That smells so bad. It might be, might be expired. Oh, I don't, well, it's making me sick. Nope, don't want it. In the trash. Okay, moving right along. Before I put on my lashes, I'm going to set my brows with my Anastasia, Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow gel. And I'm also going to define them a little bit with my Anastasia brow tint.
Yo, I'm gonna need about 20 of these because, yo, my skin is just killing it right now. Just make sure everything's all blended. With the lashes. Mm. I really don't feel like I need eyeliner. Should I put, I don't think I need eyeliner. Well, let me see if I have like a light one because I feel like if I were to wear eyeliner, I think I'm gonna just use my like concealer brush to put on a little bit of this white, which will make it kind of tannish, if you know what I mean. Ooh, yes, honey. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure you also subscribe to my channel. I really want my channel to grow. So if you like me doing videos and you want me to be more consistent on my channel, just go ahead and subscribe and comment down below that you want me to keep going with it or just comment down below that you're tired of seeing me. Whatever, just let me know. And again, thank you.